Microwave dog training treats using silicon trays. For this recipe, you'll need a silicon pan with many small pockets. I use a waffle tray, but for smaller dogs, you can use a pyramid pan and chop the recipe more finely. Cut the pan with scissors so it can fit on and turn on a microwave turntable. This is a simple recipe that cooks up quickly and easily. If you have a larger chopper, it is faster as you don't have to shred the ingredients first. All ingredients are used in roughly equal parts. One large egg, about a quarter cup of flour, could be rice, potato, wheat, or tapioca, and two parts vegetables or fruits. Try substituting ground meat or fish and the juice for the egg and other veggies. Depending on how much liquid you use, you may need to use more flour. I shredded the veggies to make them easier to chop in the small chopper. Place the veggies and meat in a bowl and mix them up. Add the flour on top and mix it in. Transfer it to the chopper, making sure not to overfill it. Chop until it's a thick paste. Fill the pockets, skimming the excess off the top. Place the tray in the microwave. And cook on high for three to four minutes. You want the pieces to be hard so they easily pop out of the pockets. Remove from the microwave and let cool. Use a hand on each side to stretch the tray in both directions, up and down and side to side, to loosen the pieces. Test to see if the pieces are dried at the tip. If they are still soft, add a little bit more cooking time as we want them really firm. It's hard to film and stretch it at the same time. Turn the tray over. Most of them should follow easily. If not, add some more time. Cleaning it is easy. Place the tray in a dishwasher or run warm water over it. Shake it and let it air dry. This recipe makes about 140 pieces in a waffle tray. Double or triple the recipe to make more. It freezes well. This recipe is an adaptation of Eileen Anderson's No More Cutting recipe. Check the video description for a link to her blog post.